Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Data Master. Today I have a special guest with me, my adorable miniature Pomeranian called Ginny. Say hi Ginny. Now you might be wondering like why I have brought my little Ginny along today. Well, it's because we are going to dive into something equally magical from Databricks. They have introduced a newly developed AI BI feature called Gini. So Databricks Gini is an incredible new tool that integrates artificial intelligence and business intelligence to provide a powerful insights and enhance your data analysis capabilities. In this video, we will explore the amazing capabilities of the Databricks Gini, see how it can transform your data workflows and why it's a game changer for all the data professionals. So stick around to discover all the exciting features from the Databricks Genie that has offered to you. So let's get started. Hey, I have sent my Genie. Now let us see what Databricks AI BI Genie space is. So artificial intelligence and business intelligence Genie space is a no code interface that is powered by the Databricks IQ that allows businesses user to conduct self service data analytics by just simply using a natural language. So all the domain experts such as the data analyst, data engineers can use this Databricks Genie space with their own data set. So what I'm trying to say is now you can write a simple natural language the way we write it in GPT, chat GPT, the same we can do it in the Databricks space that is a genie space and you are actually writing a question or a natural language or a prompt based on your own data, based on your own organizational data or on your proprietary data. So this is really an amazing guys. I'm so excited. So let me show you how this genie looks like and how we can create it. We'll test it now. So this is my Databricks workspace and here you can see in the SQL workload we have Genie. So you can just click on it and you can ask the question about your own data in simple natural language and it can beautifully answer all your queries, all your prompts. So let me start now. So the steps are just click on this new button. Let me minimize this. Yeah. So it's asking me for the title. So I'll just say that it's a Gini test and you can give a description. So I'm going to create a Gini space for my e-commerce data. So I have a data set already created. So I have a bronze layer and the silver layer. I have a e-commerce data that I've been working on. So let me just write a quick description. So this is an e-commerce, e-commerce, data set and here I want to select the warehouse. So I have a warehouse called data master SQL warehouse and you have to select it by default. So it's not started, but let me select this and I'll start it later on. And now when it comes to tables, so you can select all the tables which are in the catalogs. So the mandatory thing is you need a serverless here and you need a unity catalog enabled workspace. Otherwise you cannot work. So I have a catalog named data master. And I have a few schemas here. So let me uh, take the schema of bronze. In bronze, I have an Amazon e-commerce table. Let me just select this. And also I, I have a silver schema. Let me take a silver schema. And the silver schema, the table name is Amazon. So I am just selecting two tables. You can select different schemas, different catalogs, different tables, and just click on OK. And you can see we have selected two tables. One is from the bronze schema. Amazon Ecom is one of the data set. Silver Amazon, this is other table. Okay. And now it's asking you for a simple uh, sample questions you want to give. So let me write a sample question. So we have a total sales and we have a total quantity. Let me just keep on adding this. This is not mandatory. So total quantity. And let me write. Uh, so I have a column called ship to state, ship to state versus total sales. Okay, so these are the sample questions what I am feeding up. 
you can add as many questions as you want so let me click on save and the moment you click on save you will be opening up a new genie space in this use case my genie space name is genie test now what i'll do i'll just go back to my sql warehouse and i'll just start it so it's a serverless it will take really very less time to spin this and let me come back to my genie here and one thing you need to remember whatever the genie space you are creating again it's going to your workspaces the workspaces are beautiful where you can store everything now uh, from your notebooks for your ai models for your queries dashboards and now your genie space let me just click on it i can navigate to the genie space by using a workspace or i can just click on this okay so now i'm inside my genie space and i guess my sql warehouse has also started and you can see the sample questions here and you can even write any question here so your stakeholders your managers you don't need to call your analytics people to find out all the insights of your own data organizational data your proprietary data just write a simple question here for example i have written total sales uh, trust me in my data set i do not have any question any column called total sales i have an invoice amount so let me check whether it fetches or not let me just click on it and beautiful you can see your genie is thinking now let me check oh cool so it is querying the calculates from the total sales amount from the amazon silver table so so smart it is picking up the silver table not a bronze table oh beautiful this is my total sales and i can show you the code that is generated if i just click on this generated code oh beautiful so you can see as i told you it's a total invoice amount so it is making a sum of invoice amount as a total sales from the silver table really an amazing thing guys you can create a bar chart you can create a line chart out of it so if you want uh, we can do it or you can auto visualize anyway so now what i'll do i'll just write a new simple natural language like i want to know ship to state state versus total sales okay total sales let me just press enter and now your genie is thinking again so it will create a query so it will show you oh wow you can see this oh it is it is showing you the detail one so let me yeah cool so you can see i have a ship to state various states in india and you can see the total sales here amazing guys you can see this and now you can check the code so suppose i want to order by the column that is the total sales i want to order it by total sales let me just make a quick changes in the query itself here order by i'll just say total sales and i'll just make it to descending okay Total sales make it to descending. Cool. Let me run this query now, and you should see a beautiful table. Oh, cool! You can see a Tamil Nadu. I'm making at the top sales, then Karnataka, and then Maharashtra, and so on. Can I create a graph or a visual from this? So let me just go down and just click on the bar chart. Beautiful. You can see here. You can simply create a chart now without. knowing any sql background or you don't need to really go back to any of the bi tool and you can see a beautiful amazing thing guys amazing i'm so excited and now you can go deep dive into this geni space and find out you can guess give a vote for your answer whether it is correct or not whether it is wrong or not so you can vote it here and all this metrics whatever we are doing here all this metrics can be tracked in the monitoring tab so you can see here in the geni space you have so many things here uh, so let me deep dive into one by one so this is your chats and it also uh, it's also remembering all your query charts here you can create a new chart again and in the second tab you have an instructions so you can specifically say that okay for my uh, states you give a title case or you give an upper case and for the date you have to give these formats and you use these abbreviations you can give a general instructions on it and if you have any sample queries you can do uh, you can add some sample queries here okay then you have a data sets here you can see uh, the geni is been answering from these two data sets you can find out from here and then it, the third fourth tab is on the monitoring and beautifully you can see that it shows that status is completed and what question it was asked and who is the user and remember guys it's all under the unity catalog you can even uh, share this with your teammates with your colleagues and you can set them the permissions also 
just to run it just to view just to manage and all those things you can see here you have a share button once you click on it and you can suppose if i give all the workspace user so there are three four privileges we can do same like our cluster so we can view i mean the group or the users can run can edit can manage real and amazing thing okay and then uh, you can go settings so if you have missed something you can go and add your tables again so this is going to change your completely uh, data analyst field i mean they, uh, you can create a beautiful visuals you can create a dashboards directly by simply writing a natural language or writing a simple prompt on your own data set i'm really excited to explore this so if you want to know more detail about this jenny space please do comment on this i'll go deep dive into these all tabs and explain you how monitoring works how you can uh, train your genie again so this is all about the genie space guys thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please do, please do subscribe to my channel share it with your friends those who need it thank you once again bye bye see you in the next video